in somebody like me Building me up from my many sins, Jesus set me free I did never know sin, but like a war Thank God for grace, I'm a mother prayer She prayed for me, God make me there Your second chance to get to shine me like more brighter When your peace at the world I turn And you feel to give up my girl that I call you You feel you got badness, you act on the gun You are pressed me and drop that I call you Listen me nighty Me a thought is clearly The Christian walk rough, yes Oh believe me dirty Satan will run up on you He ma go bring up your past You feel like good chaos You feel like your love But you remember this Your past and your past It's empty Oh when your peace and the world I turn And you feel to give up my girl that I call you You feel you got madness Lock and the gun you are pressed You can't drop that I call you International. We thank the Lord for your faithfulness, uh, for your diligence in joining us each night for the week so far. And we pray that tonight you will continue to share our messages. We are living in a time where men need the word of God. And as we are in this season where we are reflecting on what God did for us on the cross and what he accomplished, we are encouraging you to tune in. Continue to share this message with those that you love. And even those that you might not necessarily like, everybody needs to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ because he is coming again. Could you just close your eyes with me as we pray, as we invite the presence of the Lord to be here with us before we enter worship and before the word comes to us. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we honor you tonight. We glorify you. I lift you up. I shall back your name, holy God, because there is indeed none like you. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Be magnified. I lift you up. Above every trouble, above every care, mighty God, above the noise and the chaos that is present in our modern world. Father, we thank you, God, that you warned us in your word that these days will come. Trying times, Father God, for these are indeed the end days. And we thank you, Father God, for what you accomplished on the cross. We thank you, mighty God. God, for greater love hath no man than this, than for a man to lay down his life for his friends. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son that whosoever believe it in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And as you commanded us in the great commission, go we into all the world preaching the gospel. Father God, we are on the mission for God tonight. And we pray God after that the hearts of the person who join us tonight will be open. I pray that you give them a heart of flesh in the name of Jesus that every stiffness of neck Father God will be fixed and adjusted in the name of Jesus ready to receive the word of God. Father God, I've done it. The word of God declares that Jesus at that time began to preach and said repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And we declare tonight the word of the Lord. Repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Speak to a sinner tonight. Speak to a backslider tonight. 
Speak to a wavering Christian tonight. Remind us of why you died, mighty God. Bring back the reverence and the fear of God in our communities, in our homes, in our world. Bless us tonight, God, as we honor you, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, we thank you. Lord, we adore you, Jesus. We lift up your name on high. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, Jesus. Laba Jesus, right now, Lord God, we ask that you be with us, that you dwell with us, that your fire, your power will be here with us. Welcome to each and everybody here to another crusade night. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you will be blessed. I pray that you will share this video as well with your friends, your auntie, your uncle, your neighbor. Send it all over and just worship with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. There's nothing one more that could ever come close. Nothing can compare your living world, your presence, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory. God, it's what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves, where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord. Sing holy, holy spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what I Still have 
the power of Jesus still has a power, wonderful power to heal all the seasons, cover our weakness. It still has the power, wonderful power to heal all the seasons, cover. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Your awesome love. Powerful love. Jesus. For I spoke a word, you singing over me. You've been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you know it all, Jesus. You've been so, so good to me. And oh, and oh the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found. Leaves the 99. I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for your love, Jesus. Thank you for your reckless love, Jesus. Jesus. When I was your foe, Hallelujah, you love fire for us, Jesus. You've been so, so good, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, so good to me, and oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God, oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the 99. Your 
Because love, God, you're never ending of God. You're mighty love, God. Jesus, you're awesome love, God. We just wonder, everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same with just one love. Everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same with just one love. Everything changes. I'm captivated. We'll never be the same with just The names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus. Let all the other names fade away. Until there is only you. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names, let all the other names fade away. Oh, let all the other names fade away. Until there is only you. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. See, Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Oh, Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Sing, Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, Jesus, you made the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. Jesus, Jesus, you made the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, your name is the light. That the shadows can deny your name cannot be overcome. Your name is alive, forever lifted high. Your name cannot be overcome. Jesus, Jesus, you made the darkness tremble. That the shadows can deny your name cannot be overcome. Your name is alive, forever lifted high. Your name cannot be overcome. Your name is alive, that the shadows can deny your name. Cannot be overcome. Your name is alive, 
forever lifted high. Your name cannot be overcome. Yeshua. Mighty God Almighty, tonight we come before you. My God Almighty, we pray, my God, that the grace of evangelism, mighty God, it will come down upon us, Lord God, tonight in a mighty way. My God, tonight as we go on the battlefield to claim source for the kingdom, my God, I pray that your word, my God, which is powerful and your word which is sharp, my God, God, I pray tonight that we, it will flow like never before. My God, tonight we come against every principality, my God, and powers, my God, that would want to disturb, my God, your worth going forth to your people in the name of Jesus. My God, we bind distractions tonight. We bind every force of darkness. My God, I pray tonight that your spirit and your power, my God, it will move in a mighty way. Let the blood of Jesus Christ now begin to speak on our behalf let the blood of Jesus Christ my God now become a voice for your people tonight in the mighty name of Jesus my God I declare that this word my God it will go for it now my I pray tonight, mighty God, that this word, Lord Jesus, it will reach in the bar and it will pull out, mighty God, the alcoholic. I pray tonight, mighty God, that this word will go into the hospital, my God, and it will pull out the sick. I pray tonight, mighty God, that this word, Lord Jesus, it will go into the graveyard, my God Almighty, and it will pull it out of Koshanda. My God, let this word break witchcraft, my God. God and set souls free that they will run into your salvation tonight father we honor your name and we give your glory in Jesus mighty name 
Hallelujah. Good night, everyone, and thank you for joining us in this, our week of crusade. We are Light of the Gentiles International. My name is Stacy and Garvey, and I will be your speaker for tonight. Guys, I'm going to invite you to be interactive on the live. Comment, share, invite somebody to watch with you as we are on this mission together for Suez. Come on, begin to type hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begin Begin to give God some worship. Begin to give God some praise. My God, tonight we are on the battlefield because the Lord God Almighty is saying come. My God, he is saying it is time to come. My God, he is saying it's time to come out of Lodibar. He is saying it is time to come out of that prison cell that the enemy has trapped you in for far too long. My God, it is time for you to come out of that place and to get on that journey of purpose that God has for you. Come on, give God worship. Give God worship. Hallelujah. Give God some praise tonight because we are on a mission and we are ensuring that every sinner will come. Hallelujah. I want you to turn your Bibles with me tonight to St. Matthew chapter 11 and we will be reading from verses 28 to 30. I will read and you can follow. Hallelujah. It says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Can I say that another way tonight? Come unto me, all ye that are doing hard work and are burdened by sin, for Jesus to give you rest. Verse 29 says, take my yoke upon you, learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hallelujah. I wish somebody would give God a worship tonight. My God, because he is pulling an unbeliever from that place tonight. When, when I was doing a little studying and I, and I looked up the meaning of the word come, it says it means to, to, to move or to travel towards or into a place thought of as near or familiar to the speaker. I, I want you to understand from this passage of scripture that Jesus was not sending you into the unknown. He said, come an indication that he was calling you where he is. Hallelujah. He was calling you into that place of resurrection. He was calling you into that place where he ascended to be seated at the right hand of the father. My God, I wish somebody would get that tonight. That where you are into your final destination. I wish somebody would get it in your spirit tonight. My God, that where you are is not where Christ meant for you to be. And God is saying to somebody tonight to come. He was saying, leave out of that place that has no value. That journey that doesn't even have a road map, no direction. My God, that, 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 that place that leads to destruction. My God Almighty, one of the first things I observed is that Jesus didn't give a checklist. He said, come. See, see, he didn't even give a criteria. You have to be slim. You have to be fat. You have to already be holy. You have to already be right. No, he said, come. And, and this is what I love about, about Jesus. He, he understands where you are. He, he understands the issues. He understands what is, what, what is holding you down or holding you back or keeping you where you are. And, and, and because of that, he already went ahead and made provision so that when he says come, there would be no excuse. Can I talk to you tonight? C can I tell you about a blood? Can I tell you about the blood of Jesus that was shed on your behalf? Can I tell you about the blood of Jesus that was shed so that you can have access? My God, can I tell you about a blood that was shed on your behalf? That when the Father looks, he does not see your sin, but he sees the blood, my God Almighty. I'm going somewhere. Be be because the requirements that you needed to come into, the because of the requirements, which, which was holiness and righteousness, that, that you needed to come 
to the Father, Jesus paid it all. See, we will never be able to pay the price of sin. Never. We are not even capable. I, I learned something very powerful from Bishop Duncan Williams, which was also confirmed in a book written by Reverend Leo Stone Morrison that's called Mind Renewal, that it is through the renewing of the mind that the soul is saved. And this is why it is important when the scripture says, let this mind be in you, which is also the mind of Christ Jesus. The, one of the reasons why Jesus was calling to come is so that we could receive the identity of Christ. So that we no longer operate as bastards, but we understand who we are through grace. Hallelujah. And through the blood of Jesus. And, and this is how we are able to function in and through the thoughts of God. Hallelujah. Which means that we, we, when we come to Christ, we will no longer operate on, on, on the world's standards. But we will now operate through the word. And it will be the word of God through a renewed mind that will dictate how we operate in this domain. The scripture says, take my yoke, which means when I, when I read the scripture, when I went into the scripture, the yoke that Jesus was talking about was his submission to God. He said, take the yoke and learn of me. So, so, so when we take on the yoke of Christ, hallelujah, we can now boast, hallelujah. Psalms 103, it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities and heal all thy disease. See, coming to Jesus has benefits. Coming to Jesus has its rewards. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things. So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Let me tell you something. When you come to Jesus, there's a divine exchange. When you come to Jesus, the old man is put off and you are given a new identity. You are not known by what you used to do. You are not known by the sins that you had committed. My God, you are now known through the blood of Jesus. You are now known by the word that God has spoken concerning your life. Let me explain something to you. The Bible says that he had bore our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Everything... All the transgressions, he paid it all. Everything that you would have done, every sin that you would have committed, the blood of Jesus Christ paid it all. Everything that you, you are doing, everything that you even will do, the price has already been paid through the blood. You staying in the sin, you are wasting time. Listen, you are at a place that you don't even belong. Listen, you are, on, you are giving the enemy your time that he doesn't even deserve. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. He paid it all. What is your excuse? What is keeping you in sin? What is keeping you at a place that leads to nowhere? What? I found out something in recent times. It's not that it didn't exist before. But I've been paying close attention. Sin has made this generation so heavy and weary that the generation don't even know what to do with themselves. They don't. They have, listen, I, I, I saw something on television last night, I think it was, where they were talking about a shoe with blood. Sin make people don't have nothing to do. So them the foolishness. 
Give the enemy more time than him deserve. Hallelujah. Don't we realize what is happening in the world today? Men have become lovers of themselves more than God. Sin is now being portrayed as the new norm. It's okay. It, it, it's okay to, to, to be, you know, on the other side. It's, it's okay to, 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 to watch any and anything. Sin is now being portrayed as something that looks good. When I was younger, people used to hide witchcraft. People didn't even openly come out and talk about certain things. Now, Obia is being advertised. Witchcraft is all over social media. The other day, a witch sent me a request. The good witch. And, and people don't understand that, that sin just makes you weary and burdened. You are always trying to, to, to look something to build up yourself. Hallelujah. <laughs> you, you're always. You are so burdened that you try to find satisfaction. Why do you think there's so many drug addicts? Why do you think there's so many alcoholics? Why? Have you ever noticed that celebrities, they, 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 it's like a one-it wonder sometimes and they die so quickly? Nothing. Nothing, nothing beneficial in sin. But I want to talk to you tonight. I, I, I want to let you know that there, that there is a value giver. I, I want to let you know that there is a burden bearer. My God, I want to let you know that there is a life giver that leads you somewhere. I want to let somebody know tonight that when you come to God, you are coming into something beneficial. Can I talk to you tonight to let you know that even the mess of the past, when you come to Jesus, my God, because there is so many benefits, my God, in the kingdom, the mess will be a message, my God Almighty, the scripture says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, it is because God wants to carry that thing for you, my God Almighty, I want to talk to somebody tonight, to let you know, that when you come to Christ with your issues, Lord Jesus, he will take the same issues, my God, and make it into a ministry, and your behalf my God Almighty can I let you know tonight my God that whatever you have been through when you come to Jesus it will cause my God a benefit my God to come out of your issues he says come come as you are come with the issues come burden because I God I got use for them my God Almighty let me tell you something tonight yes it's sometimes you are in sin and you feel like you don't have any value my God Almighty and it causes you to drop in the wrong hand sometimes am I talking to a woman tonight it causes you to drop into the hands of some people that will use you and abuse you but when you come to Christ just as you are Lord Jesus he will pick you up he will turn you around and he will cause your feet to be set on higher ground. Come. Come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember when I got locked up for the first time. And a friend called me and said she knows somebody that can help me. Lord Jesus. And when I called the Obia man. Him say you can come. But make sure you come with some money. Can I talk to you tonight? Lord Jesus. Him say come tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. But make sure you come with money. Lord Jesus. But when I read the scripture tonight. The Jesus said come. You didn't have to take no money. You didn't have to take me no gold or no silver. Come with your issues. Come with your burden. Come with what's breaking you weary. Lord Jesus, my sister got to God even with the man. Pray.
problem and let him fix that thing for you. Clean you up. Turn you into a royal priesthood and a holy nation. I said take your problems to the problem bearer tonight because he is able. Come. Come. I said there is no cost to come to Jesus. Lord Jesus himself will take my yoke. I cannot tell you something about Jesus. He said come as you are. But my God when you come to him just as you are. You will not remain empty handed Lord God. I want to talk to somebody tonight. Lord Jesus when you come. My God he gives you something so precious. He gives you salvation. He makes you righteous, Lord God. You will be known, my God, as a joint ear with Jesus. Lord of mercy, can I preach to you tonight to let you know that when you come to Jesus, my God, you won't remain the same, but you will be identified as a kingdom kid. You will be identified as a son. Because when you come, there is benefit to the kingdom. Take what I am giving you tonight. It is easy. It is light. Receive it tonight. Let me tell you something. Ah, glory to God. I remember when I was in prison and the first time I heard a word... One of the reasons why I gave my life to God is because I could not understand why a word would come to me in prison. I didn't get it. And, 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 and in that word coming to me, Jesus was saying, come. Come as you are. And in me coming, he was still giving me something. It doesn't matter where you are tonight. Come. Come. It, listen, it doesn't matter what the enemy is dictating for your future. Come. Can I tell you tonight that your times are in the hands of the Lord? It is in the hands of the Lord. Come. All you need to do is to make that step. All you need to do is to make that step. Many of us have been living burdened, so heavy, trying to maintain the sinful life. Can I be real with you tonight? It costs to live in sin. It costs your peace. It costs your joy. It costs your love. My God, it costs. And listen, it creates so much wound in your soul sometimes. It costs. Jesus is saying to you tonight, come. See, sometimes we feel like we are the devil good. B because our lives seem to be going right. It, it, it seems that we're having this jolly good time. And, and, and the enemy is on a vacation when it comes to us. We're partying and, and, and what seems to be, you know, them say living the best life. But if we are true to Christ tonight, living without Christ is nothing. Because three quarters of the time when you're living your best life, you're crying when nobody else is looking. And the price you have to pay to maintain that lifestyle, it's not worth it. Because the end is destruction and plus you don't even happy anyway. Come. Come. It, it, it's time to let it go. You, you've heard so many, so you, you've heard so many sermons. You, you've gotten so much word. You've heard, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son over and over and over. You've heard it. 
Why won't you come? Why? Let me explain something to you. You will never be a friend of the enemy. When God created you, when he placed breath inside of you, when he created you in his image and his likeness, listen to me, the devil understood who you are. And the devil knows where he is going. And his aim is to bring company. Huh. You are just a part of a Ponzi scheme. And, and listen. He is giving you things that seem beneficial but they don't last forever. Because where he wants you to go with him, you can't take them with you. So if, if, if because of the pleasures of this world, why you don't want to come to Christ? You're living in error. Because you can't take them with you. For far too long, many have been living a lie. Because when you are living without Christ, you're not living in truth. So you're living a lie. Living without Christ is merely existing. Because you were created to worship the Father. I want to talk to a backslider tonight. You are living in error. Because you are not where you are to be. You Listen, you are not where God created you to be. And you have been so uncomfortable because you're not living up to your true potential that can only come from being in Christ. Hallelujah. Come. 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 The wages of sin is death. And there's no two ways about it. Katebe Sandaraba. No two ways about it. Sin only leads to destruction. No two ways about it. And, and I love God in such a way that he has made provisions for you. He made provisions for me. He was willing to become the slaughtered lamb, the ultimate sacrifice. So that we wouldn't have to face death. Eternal damnation. He paid the price. He was wounded for your transgressions. The shedding of his blood. He allowed himself to be slaughtered so that you and I could be saved. It's time to stop being ungrateful to the sacrifices of God. It's time to become grateful and give him your life tonight. They pierced his side. They mocked him. They jeered him. Hey, they betrayed him. They denied him. They whipped him. His sweat became blood. So that the scripture could say, what man of love is this? Just for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is time to be grateful. Do not let this season pass you by. Without giving your life to God. What are you waiting for? Do you realize. That you don't have to be a certain age to die anymore. What do I mean by that? When I was growing up I only thought it was old people that died. The other day a 20 year old was killed. 20. 
And if I'm to get personal tonight, I lost a sister that was 25 years old that was not saved. And it wasn't because she didn't hear the word. She thought she had more time. Who am I talking to tonight? Come! Woo. No man know the minute nor the hour. Come! Come! You have no excuse. Shibaya Babakota. You have no excuse. None. No excuse. You are not too far gone for God to redeem you. Everything that you have done and are doing, He bore the consequences for it on your behalf already. The scripture says that He was wounded for all. Ketaba Shondobosa. Your transgressions. It is time. It is time. Can you imagine God? The, the one that said let there be and there was. The one that created this entire earth and everything in it. Is making a request of you to come. Talk to me. Isn't that love? Because he wants to save you. From damnation. What more do you want God to do for you? Ketamba debe yaba. Ebo si andoro boshkete. Libondi yaba kuta. What more What more do you want God to do? I'm appealing to you tonight. Come out of darkness. Come out. Come out. Many of you are struggling. Listen, many of you can't see your way. Many of you get up every day just feeling suicidal and depressed. Why? Because you know you're not where you're supposed to be. Let me tell you tonight. <laughs> There's a way that seems right. But the end is destruction. The only way truth and life is Christ. Choose Christ tonight. Respond to his call and come. Come. I, I like what, what Jesus said in the scripture. He said, Come, weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Isn't that love? Isn't that love? He wants to relieve you. Of the pressures and the burdens that come with sin. And give you better. Give you something greater. Everlasting life. His word. He wants to give you him. So that you can live. Eternally. What are you waiting for tonight? What are you waiting for tonight? What? What else does Christ have to do? 
What do you want him to do? It's time to stop going to church and feeling good and going back home to the same thing. He wants more. He wants you. He wants your total submission to him. He wants your will. He wants all of you. Listen, he wants you to give him that church hurt. He wants you to come with it and give it to him. He wants a divine exchange tonight. He wants it. He wants that secret that has been keeping you bound and heavy laden. He wants it. He wants you to move from Lodibar to the king's table. He's saying, come. You don't belong there. That's not your place. Come. 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 I was reading the scriptures and I was imagining when Jesus was in the garden and, and I tried to imagine how it must have felt knowing what he would have to do so that you and I could be saved and I couldn't imagine it and I felt so broken just trying to imagine it. And the reality is, he went through it just for you, so that you could have free access. Can I talk to you tonight to tell you, do not let this moment pass you by without saying yes to Jesus. The only hope you have now is salvation. 2020 would have taught everybody that. That the only thing that lasts forever is salvation. And you, listen, you know what the beauty of it is? Jesus is giving it to you freely. What are you waiting for? I am evidence that you can come to Jesus just as you are. Living evidence. And I can tell you that it doesn't matter what you have done. What matters is the sacrifice that Christ paid for you, the blood. His wounded hands that was stretched out just for you. Come. Come. If you are hearing this word tonight and you are ready I want you to begin to type, I am ready. Send us an email. Reach out to us. Contact us. Somebody will respond to you. We are waiting to hear from you. We are waiting to pray with you. We are waiting to lead you to the path. We are waiting. Because we are determined to bring in the harvest for the kingdom. The devil is a liar. Come. 
Come on, type. I am ready. I am ready. Send us a message. And if you have made that conscious decision to give God your life, I want to pray with you. Just repeat after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I surrender to your calling. Father, I come to you tonight just as I am. And Lord God, I empty myself before you for you to pour in. Say, Lord, I surrender. I give it all to you. I submit to your will, mighty God. Take me over, Lord Jesus, and have your way. Say, so, Lord, I come, and I give myself to you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Reach out to us. Send us a message. Someone is ready to pray with you. But do not let this moment pass you by. It is time to come to Jesus. Come to the light. God bless you. Hallelujah. Lift up your heads, all your gates The King of Glory is about to enter Lift up your heads, all your gates And hail Him, hail Him Lift up your heads, all your gates The King of Glory is about to enter Lift up your heads, all your gates And hail Him Hail him singing holy, 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 holy singing holy, 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 holy Lift up your heads, all your gates The King of glory is about to enter Lift up your heads, all your gates and hail him, hail him singing holy, 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 holy singing holy, 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 holy singing holy, 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 holy singing holy. In this room there'll be healing when he comes in this house there'll be joy so prepare your hearts to receive him and bow before the Lord of Lords hey when he walks in this room there'll be healing when he comes in this house there'll be joy so prepare